Shout out to Saltwater Aquarium and Reef Keepers, the very popular Facebook group for the support on the channel. Sent me a nice letter, <laughs> named me an MVP, and sent me a nice sticker pack uh, that we'll get up here. Got one on the uh, computer here where I do my editing, the Saltwater Aquarium and Reef Keepers there. Got one up on the uh, water station as well, and I'll get the rest up soon, but thanks for the support. to pick up a couple of gyres a fantastic deal on Facebook marketplace um, you know this guy has dual gyres um, they're max spec 250s I don't think they make this exact kind anymore but nevertheless um, he's selling both of them with a controller for um, he listed, listed for a hundred I messaged him within 10 minutes which is what you have to do and there's really good deals like that offered 80 he said, split it at 90 since I just listed it two minutes ago. I said, absolutely, you got it. And so that's a heck of a deal. Um, again, two 250 gyres um, for 90 bucks with a controller. So super happy to have those. We're gonna throw them on probably just one. I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, but they're going to be for the um, frag tub to get some additional movement in there. I plan on keeping mainly Acropora in there. And so, of course, gonna need some water movement and hopefully these will do really really well so really excited about that i'm going to snag it now and uh, we'll update you shortly all right so we have the gyres very appropriately boxed in a fritz blue box funny enough the same salt i use and in there in the original packaging and, um guy could not have been nicer uh, it was great to you know talk shop with a another local reefer and had an absolutely beautiful tank had a couple of mp40s on there and just didn't need these anymore and said he was really just you know wanting to get a give a good deal to, to somebody in the local community another reefer and so wish we had more people like that in the hobby um, got the gyres home again original packaging instruction or manual book i mean look at this original packaging included uh, including the styrofoam for protection this is unreal this aluminum casing box again styrofoam still included your first Gyre here, package it up very nicely. A couple of extra heads for when you're cleaning them as well. And over on this side, there's some anemone covers for the heads. Our controller. All that. And then, oh, by the way, that's just one. He sold two. For again, ninety dollars. It's the best deal I've gotten in a long time. Let's pray they actually work. But um, based on the way he packaged them and his attention to detail, and just meeting the guy, I'd be very shocked if they didn't work. So I went ahead and I added this um, Dr. Tim's ammonia to get the cycle started. Um, and based on the directions, um, I added about half of what it says to add for my size of a tub, or at least how much. Um, water I have in there and the ammonia is off the charts so I mean that's pretty common with any anything you're dosing where they say you know do about half at least if not a quarter of what the recommended um, dosage is and check your results and I'm glad I did so because again it's off the charts so I'll likely even have to do a water change in addition to adding some uh, beneficial bacteria because really you only wanted it at about two um, parts per million and according to this API kit I'm about at eight so way too much um, but i'll need to like i said get that down and, and get some bacteria in and speed up the cycle um, but kind of starting off uh, a little behind at this point because um, i'm going to be battling them you now so now we're heading over to uncle bill's it's a store here um, there's a few of them on the north side of indianapolis they have a bit of everything um, 
but they do have a saltwater section. And it's one of the only places I know that I can go to and get um, Dr. Tim's products. Um, so we've put Dr. Tim's ammonia in the frag tub to kickstart the cycle. And so I want to match the products. If you watch anything from Dr. Tim, he's very specific on the bacteria. That's actually what he's an expert in. I'm gonna run to Uncle Bill's. I mean, the last few times I've been there, unfortunately they haven't had um, the actual um, Dr. Tim's products in. Well, they haven't had the Dr. Tim's um, beneficial bacteria. He calls it the, um, the all-in-one or um, something along those lines um, for the bacteria. They've had like his waste away and some of his other products, but again, the last few times haven't had the beneficial bacteria. So hoping they'll have that in today um, so I can pick it up. If not, I'll just grab some API quick start or something like that. Anyway, we will probably do a water change. As I said, the ammonia is up too high. Get the ammonia down a little bit. Um, throw in the Dr. Tim's one and only, that's what it's called, um, the one and only beneficial bacteria. And hopefully it'll be cycled quick um, so we can get some corals in there and uh, get them growing. Okay, so they had the one and only, this little bottle treats up to 60 gallons. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure um, how many gallons I have in that frag tub, because um, of course it's not filled at the top. Um, but hoping that will at least be a really good start. And then I also went ahead and picked up one of these bio blocks. Um, they're not the cheapest things in the world, um, but this thing being, what is it, um, eight by eight by four, is of course gonna just provide tons and tons of surface area for that beneficial bacteria. I only have the two um, pieces of rock in the tub and then a bunch of that rubble rock underneath, so not a ton by any means of um, surface area for bacteria. So I really think this um, bio block will help out um, quite a bit uh, to get a large population of bacteria quickly. So between that and that, we'll be in good shape. All right, gyres are installed on both ends of the tub. They're up and running and working beautifully. So have them on constant speed, 50% each. I'm not familiar with this controller, so I read the manual briefly, just enough to learn how to put them on constant speed. But there's all kinds of things you can do with them, alternating, synch synchronizing them, so on and so forth. But for now, again, just testing them. Wanted to make sure they worked, and they certainly do. They're near silent, honestly. I thought for sure being the fact that they're not flat because my tub is round, right? The magnet's not flat. I thought there might be some rattling or something, but almost silent. And that water movement is awesome along with my return. Um, back to being happy I did do the sump now that everything is up and running and working very well. Um, the radions are on, however, they're not programmed. They're just plugged in, um, but we are very close at this point. Um, to getting some corals in here. Next step is to finish the cycle, get some type of rack, and then get some test pieces in there. Some simple SPS is my plan. They should love it with these high powered lights, really good flow, a sump and plenty of places for beneficial bacteria with my new bio brick. Really excited to think this is gonna be a great system. Fantastic deal again with these gyres. Cannot believe the deal I got. And I'll leave the um, guy's name out of the video. I'm not sure you know, if he wants to be in the video, but he is a local reaper here in the Indianapolis area. And just big, big, big thank you to him um, on these pumps. I'm really excited about it, as you can tell. And we'll go from there.